I am Sergeant Frank Reimer. I uh, work at the Bomb Holder Health Clinic. I'm a 68 Charlie, currently the NCIC of primary care. So today we're conducting the best warrior competition. It pits our NCOs and soldiers into a competition to find out who is best at retaining knowledge and performing tasks. So the value added for this event, it allows our soldiers to train the tasks that they're supposed to maintain at a skill level one, that they don't often get the time to train in a clinic environment. Uh, we are very thankful for our commander and our detachment sergeant for letting us take the time out of the clinic to perform this event to give that, that training to the soldiers. This event is an awesome opportunity for our soldiers to practice their skills here. Um, they get the time to train up for this event and we took time outside of clinic operations. So they were coming in early in the morning, they were staying late in the evening to train up for these tasks. So it's, it shows their dedication to the event. Um, so we're thankful for their dedication because without them performing so well, it wouldn't have gone off as well as it did. Sergeant James Moto, I'm 68 Kilo, where I'm the bomb holder Army Health Clinics Laboratory and CUIC. We're conducting Army Warrior tests and drills where we test the competencies of our skill level one, two, and three tests as soldiers. I had a blast. I think uh, best warrior competitions are an experience that every soldier should go through. It builds morale, boosts their confidence in their tasks and skills, and it's just overall fun. You get smoked at the end of the day, but you sleep well at night. So the value added to these competitions is that it teaches all soldiers that no matter what job they do, what, no matter what duties they perform, at the end of the day, they are still a soldier. They always need to be able to be competent and have these certain skills which are required throughout the military.